Breaking news, breaking news. Stephen of Oklahoma just got this to me. It's been reported by WorldTribune.com. Egypt has allowed Iran, Iran to send another warship through the Suez Canal despite the United States of America's objections. This is a special uh, report. The canal towards Syria. A senior official said that the Egyptian Navy approved the passage of an Iranian warship lo loaded with weapons to move from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea. The Iranian Navy frigate uh, will pass through the Suez Canal as uh, Ismala, Egypt. Um, and so they have allowed to go. Now, the official said that Egypt dismissed a request by the United States to stop the Iranian ship at the canal. The Egyptian Navy refused to hear the, the United States' request to strike an Iranian ship loaded with weapons that was on its way to Syria through the Suez Canal. Now, in an August 26th interview with the Egyptian television station, Al Hayat, replaced as Egyptian Navy commander earlier this month, did not say when the Iranian weapon ship traveled through the canal. But folks, it's went through, okay? And now we have the confirmation that the, again, another Iranian warship is in the Mediterranean with weapons just off the coast of Israel. But wait, three weeks ago, the Chinese sent a warship in the to the Mediterranean, also coming through the Suez Canal. So the Iranians are sitting in the Mediterranean, and the Chinese are sitting in the Mediterranean, and the Israelis are sitting in the Mediterranean. And on the other side, you have, uh, of course, you have warships of Russia, the United States, the British Navy, the French, the Iranians, the Chinese, how many more? I mean, folks, there's trouble on the sea. It's in the Bible. The Bible said it would happen uh, in, the, in the scriptures. Let me read to you from uh, Daniel chapter 11. Give me one second here because I didn't have it marked. It's coming to me right now that I should read this. Here's what it says in Daniel chapter 11, 41 through 45 told us that there would be all these nations falling, but it didn't stop there. It said that there, the tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him, trouble the Antichrist spirit. It said that all these nations would fall, including Egypt and Libya and at the steps of Ethiopia. And then just a few days ago, the Ethiopian president died of an infection. He was only 57 years old, opening the door now for the Muslim Brotherhood to move into Ethiopia. There's trouble on the sea, folks. It says, and at the time, at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation of Israel, even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to everlasting contempt, shame and contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Then the Lord said to Daniel, But thou, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. And many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Well, knowledge is increasing. We're finding out more and more and more what's taking place, as there's definitely uh, sorrow on the sea, there's definitely uh, stress. Let me read to you out of Jeremiah 49, concerning Damascus, okay, and these ships are uh, making their way into the Mediterranean, Damascus, 600 people were killed on Sunday, and uh, there's completely, there's a push hard for the Muslim Brotherhood to take over as Assad and his evil regime will fall, a worse regime will take over. Concerning Damascus and Harmath, it's confounded. 
and our path, that they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus has waxed feeble, turneth herself to flee, and fear has seized on her, and anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus. Folks, we're living in the days of Bible prophecy. Now, we know that Muhammad Mercy, and I did a video on him earlier today. We know that he's the fierce king, the cruel Lord, as it says in Isaiah 19. Let me read that to you very quickly. The burden of Egypt, four verses. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud uh, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at the presence of the Lord. And of course, we know that eight idol gods were stolen during all that rioting in Egypt, right out of King Tut's museum. Idol gods, five were recovered Three are still missing. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. We saw that already. They shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. We saw all that. The spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Lose faith in Jose Mabar. That happened. And I will destroy the council thereof. Mohammed Mercy, by the stroke of a pen, destroyed all of those generals that were in charge of Egypt. He dismissed them all. He destroyed the governing council. And he said, they will seek to the idols. Oh, we've got videotape of that. And to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to wizards. Idol worship in Egypt. The book of the dead is the most de demonic book ever written. Come from Egypt. And the Egyptians will I give over to the hand of a cruel lord. A fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Well, there has not been a fierce king ruling Egypt as wicked as there ever was in the 11 pharaohs, the 11 Ramses, the pharaohs of Egypt. One greater, one more wicked, one more deceptive, one more powerful than any pharaoh that ever rose is in power now. Mohammed Mercy. He's the fierce king. He is the cruel lord. That's why he opened up the Suez Canal. After, since 1979, there's not been one Chinese warship or Iranian boat go through the Suez Canal into the Mediterranean. That was a peace agreement with Israel. That part of the peace agreement would prohibit the Iranians, the Chinese, the Russians from putting warships through the Suez Canal. Mohammed Mercy hadn't been in office three weeks. And he let them send ships, breaking the peace agreement. Yet he says he wants peace. I want peace. But he's going to go to Iran and meet with Ahmadinejad. Then he's going to China to meet with the Chinese. Then he's coming to America to meet with President Obama. And he's letting warships right into the Mediterranean. He speaks with forked tongue. Wow. Are you saved? See, we can't stop Bible prophecy. We can just see it being fulfilled. And part of the fulfillment of Bible prophecy is that there's a great harvest in the last days. God said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. The old men will dream dreams. Young men will see visions upon my handmaidens and servants. I will pour out my spirit, thus saith the Lord. He said that the reapers would overtake the sowers. The other night we had 32 people saved. During my Sunday night live broadcast, they were coming to the Lord asking to be saved faster than I could re write it down and figure out their names to pray for them from different countries of the world. And the people in the chat rooms, we had 470 some people in the chat rooms saying, Pastor, this one's going to say, we got another one over here, and it's here, one over here. They were the reapers. They were overtaking me. I'm the sower of the seed. I'm the preacher. I was sowing the word of God and the reapers were overtaking the sower with the harvest. And so even though you see all of these wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, typhoons, hurricanes, wickedness going on everywhere, corruption, the new world order, famines, pestilence, the Mississippi drying up, 
Listen to me. While all that's going on, there's the greatest harvest of souls getting saved. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to